Welcome everyone. I am very excited to share today about a topic that has been near and dear to my heart and I've been researching for the last two, three weeks. I wanted to come share with the group here and take you through the journey I'm going through and uh, hopefully all of you will join me in it too. The topic today is going to be key person of influence. How do you become one? What does that mean? So just to step back, whether you have a job, you have a business that you are managing, most of us are exchanging time for money. What I mean by is you go work for eight hours, you get paid for eight hours. You own a consulting business. You are basically just saying, hey, I'm gonna be at the client side for eight hours and you're gonna get paid for that time. Most of us doing that with in our businesses or in our job. So how do we get away from that? How do we get to financial freedom, which is a goal for most of us, right? How do we become a financially independent where we're not dependent on somebody else for a paycheck? So along those lines, when I'm thinking through this, even you, those who have some, some of you have your own business might resonate with this or you have your own consulting. There seem to be a few people in your industry who all of the business goes to, right? And the others are kind of fighting for leftovers. So there are a few who seem like businesses automatically want them or business comes to them. They're not really going there and doing lead generation. So if you need to do more research, whichever industry you are in, you'll find those who those are. And those are the people we call key person of influence. Uh, the statistics though that they might be only about 20% of the industry, but they do 80% of the business and the other 80% are fighting for what's left out, right? So you don't want to be in the 80. How do you get to become a key person of influence? So as I was going through that, uh, one of the frameworks I uh, found out, again, this is something that even Kevin Harrington is a part of, key person of influence, and they're like five-step process. And I just finished reading the book, so it was fresh on my mind. So I wanted to share with everybody uh, because I think it's, it's a great framework. We've, I've learned bits and pieces of this in uh, various um, courses I've been in, Mental Lab, but kind of brought a few things together for me. So I thought I'll share that with the team and see if you guys uh, get value out of it and see if maybe you can implement it in your own um, journey, right? So the first one in this process is called first piece. So there's five P's. For KPI, the first one is a pitch, is what do you do? And a lot of us, as soon as we see that, we jump into what you do, like you say, oh, I'm a consultant, I'm a management consultant, or I um, solve problems, or uh, you get very um, functional in your answer. So as you, most of you have had a job before, or at least no people have jobs, right? So what you realize is, People who are functional or really kind of have to stay on top of uh, the technology, the whether they count and they have to say it's top of certification because that's uh, they kind of exchange time for money and they have to start be cutting edge and leading for them to have a job and they're not comfortable until they do that. What a key per personal influence KPI will do is they become more of a vital part of the organization. So they get more involved in a, not the functional activities, but more in more of the st strategy and how do you make yourself a vital part of the organization. So you're not worried about, oh, am I gonna get laid off because you are, for lack of a better, the engine that runs a car, right? So that's how we need to start thinking through is, uh, how do you transition from a functional expert into a vital part of the organization. So, for example, a lot of people when you ask, hey, what do you do? Uh, they have to do a pitch. And most of us come back and say, maybe I run a financial services business, right? That's very functional. But if you change it into a more energetic, a better way to approach this, we say, my business manages financial, solves financial problems for million dollar businesses and I have a team of financial geniuses who help you with any financial problem you have, right? So it's got a little bit more meat behind it and, and now you're intrigued when you introduce yourself in, in a meeting or a, on LinkedIn, wherever you're meeting people, now they want to know more about you. Now they're interested in getting more, more about you. So it's my same thing, right? For me, whenever I ask, what do you do? What do you want to be? What do you do? I said, I'm a coach and consultant. There's millions of coach and consultants. So what do you do? As I started the last week, as I've been looking through this, what I realized is 
what I really want to do is I want to coach 1 million entrepreneurs and innovators in India to solve meaningful problems. There is a knowledge crisis for entrepreneurs in India and that's what I want to solve. See, that's my mission statement. So that makes it a lot more powerful to create an entrepreneur revolution in India. So that's really, so after I wrote that, and I read that, I'm like, man, that's really what, so it, it made me more excited about my journey and what my passion is. It got me more clear headed about it, right? So I want you to think about it is what do you do? And don't think about it from a functional perspective. Think about a way that in 30 seconds, you're gonna tell somebody they wanna hear more about it, right? We can talk more about it in, uh, on the comments below or more, but I just wanna give a gist of that's what the pitch is. The next P is publish. So the, here's where we it, all of the publishing you do, blogs, books, videos, uh, any kind of Facebook posts you do, articles you write, podcast so at the end of the day the knowledge that you have if you don't publish you don't let people know there's not a lot of value to it right? people want to know you have to establish your authority in the particular field that's how you become a key person of influence so what you need to do is come so this is what also I'm doing even this video is part of it right make sure you if all not all the knowledge you have in your head how do you make that available to more people so you're gonna write books some people are good about videos some are good about podcasts uh, some are better about writing so you go and meet and write a blog so at the end of the day it's not one thing that's gonna get you there some of uh, your audience might be on YouTube some of them might be on Facebook so you have to have a comprehensive plan to you can't do all of them at the same time so maybe you pick the podcast i'm trying to do and most people are trying to do is you do a youtube video and from the video you strip out the audio and that becomes your podcast and then youtube you can actually take the video and get a blog out of it because you can have somebody transcribe the video for you and then you proofread of course and use a blog so you create one piece of content that you can use in multiple formats so you I just did one video, I'm gonna make that in a podcast and a blog, right? And then you get some FB for, for Facebook posts out of it from screenshots and little blurbs from that. So again, not every one of this requires you to do like five things, just one thing. So you just have to strategize on exactly what you're gonna do. But the end result is you need to be focused on publishing, right? So that's important. So that's the second P. What is the third P is product. So everyone who's listening to this has a wealth of knowledge how do you get your skills your talent and your ideas into a product which is scalable versus selling you your time an hour of your time for x dollars right so unless you get to that point it's going to be hard for you to scale for example what we do with mentor lab is james has run his business he's created two businesses from zero to 20 million dollars so he's captured it he's learned a lot during the journey so he can teach you one-on-one -on -one or um, be a consultant but being a coach he was able to capture all of his knowledge the last 10 plus years and he's put made it into a course so that people like you can and me can learn from that right so that's that's making his knowledge his talent his skills into a product so think about in your business what can you do to change from a service business to a product business or if you have a product what other products can you add to it to make it more scalable business right profile is the next p so i think this was a, a resonated with me is what i understood from it was is simple you are who google says you are right it was simple but it was very powerful to me because if you go google your name somebody who's trying to do a business relationship with you what do you think they're going to do first thing they're going to do is google you if a youtube video pops up with the topic that you're expert in if a podcast because when you google now youtube videos are shown in the top of the list right so if, if a book that you wrote shows up if a blog that you write shows up how much credibility does that add to you as a person of influence in the in the industry so your publishing will help with your profile right so you have to make sure you do this and you have to be very careful about what how you are represented online you aren't so make sure you keep an eye on it and if you do this regularly 
this should help with your profile this will lead to you maybe go and talk in front of the audience and events and all that that's going to help your profile and the last one is very critical is also partnership so if you look at any successful person nobody did it by themselves everybody had a partner or a partnership creates so many more opportunities now from a mental lab perspective i've partnered with james to bring this amazing mental lab program to india kevin and uh, james partner in this mental lab everybody not you have some skill sets that's great but for you to go farther you need to surround yourself with partners and teams that will help you uh, complement what you have or leverage some of the networks you have and leverage the networks they have so it has to be a win-win situation but at the end of the day so pitch publish product profile and partnership are critical for you to become a key person of influence so i have just embarked on this journey along with you guys so i'm gonna document the whole process and i want to share that with you and hopefully you can pick up some things and you can come along with me on this path and i look forward to us becoming key person of influence in the industry in the niche again that's another important so i'm not gonna try to become a key person of influence in let's say health and wellness you have to kind of niche down to say because that's just such a broad topic you say i am going to be the key person of influence in a very simple niche for example supplements that you can use to make cake more healthy or pet food that is healthy right so the health one is a broad topic so you have to niche down to something and become a key person of influence in that niche so anything that happens in that niche people are looking to you for advice or looking up to you to say hey can you help me solve this problem or come help us so that's really what so for my case i've said you know what entrepreneurship coaching is entrepreneurship coaching or coaching and consulting is a giant field right but my passion is truly helping entrepreneurs in india so that's where i started niching down to say okay i'm going to focus on making a difference to a million entrepreneurs in india to be more successful in the business and there's a lot of frameworks everything i've learned through mental app to everything else that we want to provide to the entrepreneurs in india because a lot of entrepreneurs just assume hey if only I got funding, I have this amazing idea. If only I have funding, I'm going to be successful. I'm, I met a lot of entrepreneurs on our last trip to India. I said, what is stopping you back? They're like, I can't get funding. The more you peel that and you talk to them and you understand what problem you're solving, all that is what is missing from my perspective. And I think that's that and being able to un help everybody understand what problem they're solving. So for me to be able to start helping people, I need to raise my profile, have better partnerships and have publishing to help me get there, right? So that's the journey I'm embarking on and I'm very excited about it. Now that we have this and mentors like James and Kevin helping us, I think we can all get there. So until next time, have a great day guys. Thank you.